How's it going, guys? We have a past level question for pathology for step one, as well as family and internal medicine for TCK. This question, all over the NBME exams for step one in particular, tell you just the high yield points you need to know, not waste our time. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. 65-year-old man. He has increasing nocturnal urinary incontinence that began a month ago. Current medications are metoprolol, verapamil, amitriptyline, blood pressure, 145 or 90. Serum creatinine, 1.6 milligrams per deciliter. Urine protein, 1 plus. Urine, white blood cells, and red blood cells, both 1 to 2 per high-powered field, which means negative. Which of the following is the most likely explanation for these findings? Okay, let's just whip through the answer choices. Choice A, blockade of cation channels would, would refer to blockage of calcium channels. Wrong fucking answer. Obviously, verapamil, non-dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker, will block nodal calcium channels. Verapamil can be used for atrial fibrillation. You ultimately doesn't really assess the use case. You just need to know the mechanism of action, as well as its adverse effect being constipation. Ultra fucking high yield for family medicine. Pass level. Okay, verapamil is constipation. Whereas in contrast, the dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers, e.g. nifedipine and lodipine, which block calcium channels on arterioles, that is going to be peripheral edema slash fluid retention. Also very fucking high yield. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, decreased AMP, wrong answer. This would refer to our metoprolol, beta-1 selective beta blocker. So uh, beta-1, beta-2 receptors, that's going to be G-alpha S, G protein agonism, will increase the dental cyclase activity, increase CAMP. So if you antagonize them, obviously decrease CAMP. Beta blockade, you similarly wants you to know, can cause depression, okay, as well as sexual dysfunction, and they should not be used in asthma patients in general, okay? So a lot we can talk about on the 2CK psych forms. Uh, they want you to know that social phobia, we classically, like stage fright, we classically uh, give beta blocker, propranolol. If the patient has history of asthma, you will give a benzo instead. And also that, as I just fucking said, they can cause depression. They're not going to be obscure about it. They'll literally tell you patient was started on a beta blocker eight weeks ago and for the past six weeks has had depressive-like symptoms. Okay, they'll give you a big fucking paragraph with other info as well. And you just need to reason that, oh, it's the beta blocker. Okay, the timing. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, diminution of renal perfusion. Wrong answer. Fancy vocabulary word, why not be an asshole? Okay, it just means reduced renal perfusion. So nothing here is relating to reduced renal perfusion. Okay, I mean, NSAIDs, obviously, like uh, naproxen. Okay, so uh, prostaglandins are going to maintain patency of the afferent arterioles, the kidney. NSAIDs, classic agents that are going to decrease renal perfusion. If they gave us a pre-renal uh, pathology here, okay. They said, or if they said the patient's on a diuretic, another cause uh, apart from NSAIDs, patient started on a diuretic, which is not the case here, and now has a fractional excretion of sodium under one percent or BUN to creatinine ratio greater than twenty. Okay, pre-renal. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, increased Bowman capsule hydrostatic pressure is the correct answer. So, as I said, this is all over the NBME exams for step one. This answer right here. Okay, now this isn't my opinion, as I said. So what I've done is I've gone through all of the NBME content and I've organized all those questions into subject specific folders for the students I teach. And literally this fucking answer shows up like four times in the offline NBMEs, okay? So they want you to know this patient has BPH. You say, well, isn't he a tiny bit young, a little bit young for BPH? Not really, okay? So this can be BPH causing post-renal insufficiency. That's why our creatinine is elevated. Now, in uh, in addition, patients also on an anticholinergic, amitriptyline, it's a TCA, antidepressant. We don't know why he's on it. doesn't fucking matter. Okay, so TCAs can also be used sometimes for neuropathic pain. So uh, anticholinergic medications, TCAs, uh, first-generation H1 blockers such as diphenhydramine, chlorpheniramine, uh, also, the antipsychotics have anticholinergic side effects. So you're not going to give an anticholinergic to elderly if you can help it. And in combination with a patient who probably has BPH, all old dudes have BPH, you can cause post-renal. So that's 
what you need to know for this question. Increased Bowman capsule hydrostatic pressure backs up to the Bowman capsule. I've seen students get this wrong thinking this answer choice refers to high blood pressure. It's not, okay? So this refers to fluid back, urine backing up to Bowman capsule. So an old dude with high creatinine, whether he's on an anticholinergic or not, you need to think post renal insufficiency. You're going to see a FENA, fractional excretion of sodium, over 1%, and you're going to see a BUN to creatinine ratio under 20. Okay. Real quick, non enzymatic with costellation, glomerular based membrane, wrong answer, just obviously very buzzy for the effects of diabetes. Okay. This isn't diabetes. All right. So I've made clips talking about that as far as uh, in diabetes hyperfiltration, first change you see in the kidney followed by non-enzymatic glycosylation leading to nephrotic syndrome, diabetic glomerulosclerosis, obviously chymostyl Wilson nodules, which are hyaline deposition, present as eosinophilic, uh, which means pink, eosinophilic pink circles when you do a biopsy. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.